Kessler taught the world about vortex energy. He developed a blue light aura brush for hairdressers that can still be purchased at beauty outlets today. This was a forerunner to a multi-wave oscillator, which helped us to understand clockwise and counterclockwise energy fields. Clockwise takes energy out of the electromagnetic field and counterclockwise puts energy in. The Aura Brush runs high frequency energy over the electromagnetic field and balances the spin factor in the chakras. George Lukowski developed a multi-wave oscillator. He felt that a person could take from the sea of electromagnetic frequencies and to use whatever they needed to heal their own electromagnetic field. He demonstrated his device by healing tomato and geranium plants of cancer. While doing your meditation, you can visualize Tesla and Lukowski's blue light encircling your body so that you can take from this sea of electromagnetic frequencies. By spinning your electromagnetic field in a counterclockwise spin, you can put energy into the body. Likewise, spinning the electromagnetic field in a clockwise direction will take energy away and spin it into a higher frequency. Listen for a sound from within and use this tone to open up your chakra system. William Wright was a medical doctor and a trained psychologist. He came to the US in order to practice in a free society. In 1957 he was placed in jail and died of cancer. Wright was the developer of organ energy. This is an electromagnetic field that is created by layers of wool and steel. A person placing themselves in an organ box could balance their electromagnetic field and heal all types of illnesses. During meditation, you can visualize your own box of Wright's design and thus create an energy field. Royal Wright developed microscopes that analyze living tissue. He was tried and persecuted because he developed a system of theories which proved that some of the existing theories of medical societies were wrong. He proved that diseases can change frequency and go from bacteria to bacillus, to yeast, mold, fungus, to viruses, including those of cancer and AIDS, and can be reversed back to bacteria by moving backwards through fungus, yeast and bacillus. Change the energy and you change the manifestation of the mass. Right, developed frequencies or wave energy patterns that would destroy certain diseases in the auric field around the body. The AMA destroyed this man's work because it did not fit into their theories of germs and viruses. Dinsha simply developed a box with coloured slides in front. With this device one could beam the colours into the auric field. He developed a whole system whereby one could heal themselves of disease. Dinsha's system worked like this. If a person was running a fever, it meant there was too much oxygen in his auric field. If you placed a blue light on the aura, blue is oxygen, you would cause the hydrogen to combine with the oxygen and the person would break out into a sweat, thus breaking the fever. By studying his charts, you can learn to use the different colours to add to your electromagnetic field to heal the different bodies. All of these people were persecuted by our courts and their simple devices denied, along with this wisdom of healing the many bodies that surround the physical. If these men had been allowed to develop their devices, I do not believe that we would have so many of the problems with disease that we are experiencing today. What is important is that we can use their wisdom in meditation to spiritually heal ourselves. 
we can use their techniques and methods to visualize our own electromagnetic field using color and sound, wave signatures and herbal vibrations manufactured by our own creativity to remove our own block.